Welcome back to the Finance Value Guy. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a rundown of the Cornix Exchange, an exchange that is mainly involved in automated crypto trading for everyone. So they use cutting edge automation for novices and pros. Thousands of strategies with user friendly bots and 24 7 support. So let's get started into how you can start using this as a beginner. So when you sign up for the Cornix exchange, you're going to be presented with this screen. This screen that you see right here is basically where you connect your exchange. Now there's two ways to connect an exchange to Cornix trading. Number one is the quick connect, which is what I recommend for beginners. This basically allows you to click a single link and connect yourself to an exchange without having to do any external work. Of course, there's a second way, which is where you use an API key. You go into the application, use an API key, and then just put that API key in. Now, what you want to do, since I'm going to be connecting this to BitGet and just be doing it with the futures, I'm going to click BitGet Futures. Now, with this, make sure you're signed in on other exchanges. And of course, when you click connect to BitGet, so that's what I'm going to do. It's going to pop up with this. You see right here, I'm then going to click next upon authorization. Now the screen right now is going to be blurred because of course I'm not going to be sharing my details with you all, but basically I just have to do the security verification. And then of course, once that's done, I will then show you guys exactly what to do next. So next you can see right here, we're now presented with this, okay? we're now presented with two main options. So there are basically certain options that we can use. And I wouldn't recommend you as a beginner going into futures. I just recommend connecting it to a spot account because futures often uses leverage and leverage is quite tricky. But basically it shows you here, where do you want to start? We can either follow a group, which is basically we follow automated crypto expert traders where they have multiple symbols and trading strategies and they open new trades completely automatically. Or what you can do is you can get a dollar cost average bot. This is a bot that's going to allow you to invest into the market automatically. And basically what it tries to do is it tries to buy low and sell high. So for example, it might buy low sell high based on past market conditions and based on where the range has gone before. So of course you could also click explore instead, and this is going to take you to explore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click follow a group. And then of course you can see what you can do is you can follow certain groups that are on here that present crypto trade signals. So you can see the different signals that they provide every single month. You can see the different costs every single month, and you can see the different names for these different groups. Now it's completely up to you. I do know as a beginner, you're not going to want to be paying 45 to $60 per month for these kinds of groups. But of course you can see the reviews here. So I would say before you just immediately start following these people, of course you do get a 70 day trial. I mean a seven day trial, but of course check the reviews. This one's got 3.6 stars, but this one of course has got 4.2 stars. So it's up to you. And of course, it does also depend on your trading style. For example, this one right here, you can see this is automated scalping on BitMEX. You can see that I can click this one. I know that scalping is something that completely works in crypto. So when I click this, I can see my overview here. And basically what I'm doing is I'm basically subscribing with the money in my futures. And of course, you can see that what I'm doing is I'm basically saying that for every trade, I want to do this amount so for example, if I wanted to start with 10 US dollars, I could have this amount. And of course that could be what I wanted to use. So for example, let's go ahead and let's actually go back to follow a signals group and let's get, let's actually pick a different method. So for example, let's click a DCA bot, and this is going to be what most beginners do want to use. So the reason that most beginners do want to use this area is because this is going to be where you're finding out exactly what kind of strategies have been working in the long term. Now, a thing that you can see here and one that you need to pay attention to is the time frame. In the bottom right hand corner, you'll see the different time frame. This one is 299 days, this one is 770 days, and this one is 214 days. Now, what we can see here is that these are some of the most popular dollar cost average bots. And dollar cost average bots are bots that essentially dollar cost average, meaning that they invest and a regular time frame to ensure consistent market return. Now, 
Of course, what you can do is you can also see the profits for the last 90 days at 7%. You can see the average monthly profit at 2%. And you can see the average total profit since May of 2022. So this is really, really nice. Now, what you need to remember is that basically what you're doing here is you're gaining value on cryptocurrencies in the actual denominated value, which basically means that this isn't all USD value. This is the value of the actual base asset. So this isn't 17% on your capital. It's 17% on the actual money of the cryptocurrency. So what we can see here is, of course, the also different types of trading assets. So we can see that this one is spot. This one is long isolated, which means it's futures which also means that you're actually using leverage to increase the gains from this. And then, of course, you can see that this one also did have some drawdowns. So you might want to be careful with those. Now, let's say we wanted to pick something that was rather risk free. Let's say we scrolled around and we saw that there was, of course, this one. Let's just say that this one is rather popular. So I'm going to copy this DCA bot. So I'm going to go on to this. You can see that I don't actually have enough in my account. So I'm going to need to make sure that I do fund my account. So of course, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to click. I don't want to do a DCA bot right now. I'm going to do skip onboarding and then I'm going to go into my BitGet and I'm going to make sure that I have enough money in my account for trading. So you can see right here now that I'm on my futures account on BitGet, I don't actually have any money in this area which is why it's stating that I don't actually have any value. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go onto BitGet and transfer over money to my futures account around 50 US dollars. That way I'll be able to have some in order to trade with on both my spot and of course my futures. So when you're on the Cornix dashboard, there are a variety of different things you can do. And of course it could be quite intimidating. There are three main things that you're going to want to use. And of course they're on the left hand side. You've got the DCA bots, the grid bots, and the trading view bots. So for the DCA bots, if you click to my bots here, this is going to show you where you have your bots. If you'd like to create a bot, basically you can just copy what's already going on in the market. So it's going to take you to the public bots right here, as we saw before, and you can basically look through and see which bots are going really well. Now, what you can see here also, and what you want to pay attention to, it what is ones that have been running for the longest period of time because that means that these ones are likely to be more consistent and long term in terms of their profits. For example, we can see that this kind of bot has been going for 848 days, which means that this kind of return is likely to be a lot more consistent rather than this one that has just been in 40 days, as in we don't know what could happen to these bots after certain periods of time. So what we could go ahead and do, for example, is we could copy this bot, but certain bots are on certain exchanges. So for example, what we can see here is that this bot over time manages to get certain amounts of monthly profits that look really, really nice. You can see over here, 0.21%, 0.17%, 0.8. And over a long period of time, this manages to account for a decent level of accumulated profit for that asset. Now, what's important to know is that what you also want to do here is you want to make sure that when you check out certain bots, you actually look at the minimum order size. For example, right here, you can see that the amount per trade right here, certain ones might have minimum order size, but my account here doesn't actually have anything on it. My BitGet account, it doesn't have anything that I can currently trade with, which is right frustrating. But this is, of course, just a demonstration. Now, overall, basically what you want to do here is with a bot like this, ideally what you'd like to do is just have something that is basically just passive income on the sidelines. So, for example, with this, what you can see is, of course, we can actually see the bot configuration. If we want to go into the details, you can see exactly how many orders it's going to do how many active orders, the price difference, the distance, which is 2.2%. So basically it's going to take profit at 2.2% and all of the extra details. And remember, these are DCA bots, which means that over time, they're just going to accumulate profits. For example, if you want to look at the risks of certain DCA bots, you can see that this DCA bot unfortunately actually lost these investors quite a lot of money. I don't just want to show you guys the best things to do because of course, sometimes there are certain risks and you can see right here, what you do have is that this is able to get a decent amount of profit. You can see it's risking 80% per trade, which is actually quite a lot. I would rather always switch this to a fixed USD amount. That way you can understand exactly how much you're willing to lose. 
if you do a percentage amount, it's going to take a percentage from your account, which could be devastating if your account has all of your entire funds in there. So we can see the past performance on this one, for example, in June, after gaining 20%, 70% some months, this account then lost 300% in an entire single trade. This account also managed to lose 200% in an entire per single trade, largely wiping out all of the gains from you know the beginning, which is quite frustrating considering how these things work. You can see that gains have been made and made, and then it drops all the way down onto there. So if you had invested around this point, you would have likely lost all of your money. So it's important, like I said before, to understand that whilst yes, this does lose money, it doesn't actually show up red in the beginner menu. So this one actually sneakily has a minus sign, but it's still in the green. So you might be initially thinking that this all gains money, but it doesn't always gain money. So you have to be careful and look at these red dots so that you can see exactly where money has been lost. Now, you can also look at the grid bots and grid bots are a different style of trading bot. So for example, if we do trading bots here and basically with grid bots, these are also known as automated trading programs that are primarily used in cryptocurrency markets to exchange and execute trades based on a grid trading strategy. This strategy involves placing a series of buy and sell orders at predetermined levels that we can see here above and below the market price. The goal of grid bots is to profit from the natural volatility of the crypto markets, basically just buying high or buying low and selling high within a set price range. So basically when you're setting this up, usually you want to predefine the range. You can see right here that you can change the amount of grids that are made. So for example, I can change it to 10. You can see right here that it shows the high price and it shows the low price. So you can see that when price range switches from certain areas, we can see that certain areas are going to be bought and certain areas are going to be sold. If you're thinking, why on earth would someone use a grid bot? Basically, if you can find a cryptocurrency pair that's quite volatile, for example, I know a cryptocurrency pair that is quite volatile is Tia. You could example, you know, for example, set up some grid bots at certain levels where you think that price is going to be ranging between. Now, this does use horizontal, you know, lines and stuff like that, which I don't always like because I do like diagonal lines. And the reason I like diagonal lines is because, for example, here, let's say I wanted to set up a bot like that. You could see that my bot could just long here, sell here, long here, sell here, long here, sell here. That would be a decent strategy, as you guys can see. But it does become harder to use grid bots in certain assets that are quite going downwards. So the only time that you should be using grid bots is if we're in a sideways market. So for example, if the market is on Bitcoin and we're in a bear market, grid bots are pretty useful. For example, if we go on Bitcoin, and I don't think we're on a bear market just yet, but if we go not on the hourly chart, but on the eight hourly, and if we scroll back to, for example, when we were down here, I'm not sure if it has it, but when price action isn't that volatile, grid bots actually work for predefined ranges because Bitcoin doesn't necessarily break out and it just ranges in a certain area. So when Bitcoin price is quite boring, that's when it's best to use grid bot. Now, of course, if you click the marketplace, this is where you're going to get a lot of different areas where you can essentially buy groups information. Now, like I said before, always pay attention to the rating and of course the profit and loss on the short term. So the only tabs you're going to want to pay attention to are of course the rating here and then of course the one month profit loss and risk and of course the six month profit and loss. The reason you want to pay attention to these is because you want to look at what they're doing for the long term, meaning their gains over a longer period of term. And of course you want to see last month how they managed to perform as the rest of the market has gone down. You don't want to be looking at certain groups like this, where you can see a large majority of their profit and loss has gone down in recent areas. And you can see that the ratings for these are three stars. So make sure that the last six months look good. Then of course, make sure that last month also looks good. And these are gonna be some areas where you can also potentially join. So for examples, we can see AI trading group, what we can see here is the past performance, which is 49 out of 50. But what we can also see is the max drawdown and the maximum observed loss from a portfolio's peak to its lowest point before a new peak is reached. So you can see here that this is a portfolio that is quite risky, but it does face sometimes 50% drawdowns. And you can see previously the strategy was working really, really well as the bull market continued. But for the last couple of months in summer, this kind of trading group has been quite stagnant. So this is something that's pretty stagnant, but as you can see, you can join the group, 
you can see the reviews from people right here. And of course, you can see the kind of risk. So if you don't want to take too much risk, this area, you want to make sure that this is quite low because you can see this is how much leverage they use. They use 12.3 times, which is not that much, but it's not too little either. It's kind of in the middle and you can see the service. So you can also see how, you know, what coins they trade. You can see that the most traded coin is Bonk making up, you know, 3.41%. And then there are other coins that they also trade. And we can also see the entire profit and loss status with 2000 winning trades, 400 losing trades and 200 losing trades. Now, what you also want to do as well is scroll down to the bottom right hand corner where you can see the supported exchanges. The reason you want to be able to see these supported exchanges is because this is where you're going to be able to understand where the exchanges are given. So the signals given for certain exchanges last month seem to happen more often on Binance Futures and KuCoin Futures and of course Bybit USDT, which means that if you're not on any of these exchanges, there's no point really joining the group because they don't really offer ways for you to, you know, get those trades in if you're not on those exchanges. So I definitely try and at least have at least two exchanges accounts and experiment with small amounts.